Mass production isn't just a fancy phrase in Tesla's vocabulary. When Elon Musk talks about industrial scale for the Model 2, he's pointing to the heart of the battle that will decide who dominates the affordable electric market. It's at this point that the talk turns into a car in the garage. The proposal is clear. Produce so much, so fast, and with such precision that the model becomes cheaper, arrives faster, and still maintains the quality consumers expect. The secret to this? Something called Tact Hour. And you can write down that name, because it is he who dictates the pace of the revolution. Tact time is essentially the exact time between the production of one car and the next on the assembly line. If each Model 2 leaves every 75 seconds, for example, you have a constant, predictable, and scalable flow. Now imagine shaving just 10 seconds off this process. Doesn't seem like much? In a factory producing thousands a week, this creates an avalanche of extra cars ready for delivery. And the more cars available, the lower the risk of a waiting list, the less the temptation to upgrade to more expensive versions due to lack of stock. This is more than efficiency, it's access. This rhythm also allows for something rare in the automotive industry, consistency. By maintaining a steady flow, bottlenecks disappear. Steps that used to slow everything down, like painting and wiring, are adjusted so as not to interrupt the factory's synchronized dance. A standard model rolls off the line with fewer variations, less rework, and less headache. And for the customer, this translates into a delivery that delivers on its promises. No surprises or technical excuses. The choice to maintain the same production cadence across all plants is another strategic advantage. With each factory dominating the local production of hundreds of thousands of Model 2s per year, Tesla doesn't need to rely on a single manufacturing site. If one line is late, another compensates. If a market heats up, more units are redirected. This operational flexibility is what ensures that the Model 2, too, becomes not just an American dream, but a global reality, and with the same desired configurations, without forced adaptations. Mass production, in this context, isn't just about volume. It creates a direct relationship with the consumer's wallet. Every second saved in assembly, every resource shared between models, every design decision made with scale in mind. All of this directly impacts the monthly payment. When you shave $30 per quant off a 50 kWh battery, you're shaving over $1,000 off the final cost. And when you spread this across a 60-month financing plan, the relief on your monthly budget is immediate and tangible. But it's not just cost that benefits. With the production line operating at full steam, parts and processes are repeated so frequently that errors become increasingly rare. This means fewer variations in finish, fewer loose connectors, and fewer chances of encountering manufacturing defects in the first few months of use. The Model 2 ceases to be an experiment and becomes a precision part, manufactured with predictability and delivered with confidence. This predictability also improves after sales service. With high volumes and standardized processes, Tesla can predict where and when parts will be needed. A customer in Chicago and another in Lisbon can count on the same level of service, with parts in stock and reduced repair times. It's no exaggeration to say that, with this production rate, even the workshop runs better. Less waiting, less improvisation, less frustration. Ultimately, the idea of mass production for the Model 2 goes much deeper than a simple high-speed assembly line. It's an entire system working in harmony, from the factory to the app that alerts you when your car is ready. And only when this system operates seamlessly does the Model 2 cease to be a promise of the future and become a reality in the present. Once production reaches this scale, the next natural impact is cost-cutting, not just for Tesla, but especially for those who will drive the car. Each Model 2 produced becomes cheaper than the last, not by magic, but by a well-known phenomenon in the industry, the learning curve. As production increases, processes become faster, errors decrease, and suppliers offer better prices. The result shows up where it matters most, 
in financing that's affordable for ordinary families. And this is the real battleground in 2026. The battery, the biggest culprit in the final cost of any electric car, becomes the key to this economy. The Model 2 is expected to use a battery pack of around 50 kilowatt, which already costs less today than it did a few years ago, but the goal is to reduce it even further, between $20 and $30 per kilowatt hour. Sound small? That shaves up to $1,500 off the final cost. And when you consider millions of cars being produced with this savings, the impact becomes brutal. This is what allows the Model 2 to remain affordable even with inflation and market fluctuations. But the cost cutting doesn't stop at the battery. The rest of the car is redesigned to make it cheaper to build without sacrificing quality. The motor, inverter, wiring systems, and even the internal supports are standardized. This means it doesn't matter whether the car is sold in the United States or Europe, it will be assembled the same way with the same components, optimizing every second of the assembly process. Scale here isn't just about quantity, but also about production intelligence. And the more parts are standardized, the easier it becomes to train factory employees. Operators who previously had to deal with dozens of wiring harness or motor variations can now repeat processes with much greater agility and precision. Human error decreases production time is shortened, and quality control is strengthened. A new employee at Giga Texas can operate as efficiently as a veteran at Giga Berlin within a few weeks. This efficiency is directly applied to the customer experience. This type of standardization has another powerful effect. After sales service becomes predictable and scalable. Imagine taking your car in for repairs and hearing that the part will be available the same day anywhere in the country. This is only possible when the number of variants of each component is reduced to a minimum. The Model 2 was designed for this. Few engine models, few connector types, interchangeable modules. And the practical result of this is that the car owner suffers less when maintenance is needed. Another interesting point is how future costs are forecasted. Because Tesla knows exactly how much it costs to manufacture each part of the Model 2 in high volume, it can better plan not only the final price of the car, but also how much it can charge for upgrades, parts, repairs, and even insurance. Predictability eliminates unpleasant surprises and helps keep the Model 2 within the category of the cheapest electric car to maintain, not just to buy. And it's not just about saving money. This optimization also reduces the risk of failures in the first few months of ownership, which is when most owners give up on a car or begin to distrust the brand. When everything is simplified, assembled with precision, and tested on a large scale, the problem rate drops. This makes the Model 2 not only affordable but also reliable, a detail many people only appreciate after trying it out. All this logic, from cost-cutting to increased scale, turns the Model 2 into a kind of mirror of Tesla itself, a car that reflects years of learning, but finally promises to deliver what has been discussed since the automaker's early days, an electric car for the masses, without empty promises or unattainable prices. And when cost becomes an ally rather than a barrier, the game changes completely. For this model to work on a large scale without slowing down the production line, the Model 2's design needed to be treated as much as an industrial part as a consumer product. Every detail of the car was designed to facilitate assembly, save time, and allow thousands of units to be built per week without compromising quality. And this is where the concept of modularity begins to shine. Instead of a body full of unique parts, the Model 2 adopts symmetrical panels, repeated attachment points, and fewer types of welding which reduces the number of molds and tools required in the factory. This more streamlined structure drastically shortens the changeover process between versions. While production previously required stopping to change tools and adjust positioning to create a different finish, everything is now much more fluid. Tesla can accomplish more with less effort, 
And this is directly reflected in the number of cars rolling off the line each day. With fewer parts, inventory planning is simpler, and the risk of missing a key part during assembly virtually disappears. The painting phase, historically, a bottleneck for every automaker, also underwent a creative streamlining. Instead of offering dozens of options that complicate the factory's schedule, Tesla opted for more durable colors, optimized decorative layers, and even protection applied directly at the factory. This reduces oven time, eliminates rework caused by imperfections, and speeds delivery without sacrificing durability. When you paint a car every few minutes with near-surgical precision, production truly scales. Another aspect that received special attention was the wiring. Traditionally, wiring harnesses run throughout the car like complex, heavy veins. The Model 2 changes that with a zonal system, which groups cables by region and reduces the overall length. This eliminates hundreds of connectors, reducing weight by up to 15 kilograms and eliminating several potential sources of failure. Fewer connections mean less chance of poor contact, especially in the first few months, when most technical failures tend to appear. This zonal system also improves quality testing. Because electrical modules are grouped by area, it's easier to identify and isolate problems. If something doesn't work, technicians already know exactly where to look, which shortens the final inspection and speeds up delivery to the customer. This means the car arrives not only faster, but also more reliably. Mass production, in this case, doesn't compromise quality. It's the very tool to achieve it. The thermal system was also completely redesigned to keep the car efficient without adding complexity. Instead of separate loops for the engine, battery, and cabin, everything was integrated into a single central thermal system. This drastically reduced the number of valves and connections, fewer joints, fewer leaks. During use, this translates into faster recharge times, even in cold weather, and a more stable experience throughout the year, with less impact from temperature fluctuations. The combination of a streamlined body, efficient paint, lean wiring, and centralized thermal system makes the Model 2 a perfect product for the assembly line. But this also means something important for the customer. Fewer defects, fewer shop visits, and less time wasted on repairs. When the car's structure is designed to be flawless, all that's left is real use. Light, everyday driving without surprises. And this is where design and production engineering meet the driver experience. All of this forms a solid foundation upon which the rest of the car will be built. And more than that, it allows the Model 2 to become a scalable product without losing its identity. It's not a car built to impress at showrooms. It's a car built to roll off the production line today and run for decades, with controlled costs and efficiency planned from the very first screw. A car born with the factory in its DNA. With a solid structural foundation designed for scalability, the next challenge was to ensure the Model 2's flexibility without disrupting the production line's flow. The answer came with a modular architecture for both the battery and the powertrain. The idea is simple yet ingenious. Keep the outer shell identical across all versions, changing only the internal modules. This allows different battery capacities, such as 48, 52, or even 60 kW, to be assembled using the same process on the same line without the need for testing, fastening, or welding. This allows Tesla to serve different customer profiles without compromising factory flow. Those who need more range can opt for a larger version, while those seeking the lowest price can opt for the basic version, and both are produced with the same efficiency. This modularity also simplifies after sales. The standardized structure facilitates repairs, replacements, and upgrades without requiring new engineering for each battery pack. It's as if the car were a puzzle with interchangeable pieces. And things get even more interesting when you look at the powertrain. The motor, inverter, and axle shafts are exactly the same in all Model 2 versions. The performance difference? It's all in the software. This allows the car to be sold with a more modest power profile. 
And if the customer wants more power in the future, they can pay for it and unlock the feature with a simple over-the-air update. This strategy reduces the number of parts on the line, avoids tool changes, and speeds up quality inspections, all while creating a new revenue stream for the company. This common hardware, variable software approach transforms the customer experience. Instead of choosing everything at the time of purchase, customers can evolve their car over time according to their needs and budget. And all this without relying on mechanics or taking the car to the dealership. In an era where over-the-air updates have become standard, the Model 2 takes this logic to the extreme, allowing mechanical upgrades without any physical component replacement. Even the most mundane assembly elements have been optimized. Screws, clips, clamps, and seals have been reduced to the bare minimum. It may seem like a small detail, but this completely changes the production process. Instead of using 200 different types of fasteners, the Model 2 works with a reduced set, which means fewer tool changes, less chance of torque errors, and fewer noises after a few thousand miles. This also speeds up future repairs, as technicians always use the same toolkits. Another direct benefit of this standardization is consistency in finish. When everything is assembled in the same sequence, using the same materials and torques, the car ages better. There's less squeaking, less play, and fewer parts that come loose over time. And because the torque sensors are calibrated for each type of fastener, the chances of incorrect assembly are reduced to almost zero. This not only reduces factory returns, but also increases consumer confidence in the final product. And for those working on the assembly line, this simplification is a blessing. Less variation means less training time, less day-to-day -day complexity, and more agility in production. Tesla can thus scale its factories faster, transfer personnel between units, and maintain quality even with new teams. And all this without relying on highly specialized workers, just follow the process, which was designed to work like a well-oiled machine. These decisions, though technical and seemingly invisible to the end user, are precisely what make the Model 2 viable as a mass market product. Modularity, software upgrades, and internal standardization ensure the car is easy to assemble, maintain, and even allows for customization for those who want something extra. It's the kind of quiet engineering that doesn't show up in the ads, but makes all the difference when the goal is to bring an affordable electric car to millions of people around the world. After optimizing every stage of production and creating a modular car, Tesla turned its focus to something that ultimately determines whether consumers will enjoy the vehicle. Everyday use. Because a cheap, well-built electric car is useless if it isn't practical, comfortable, and reliable in everyday life. And that's precisely where the Model 2 begins to stand out as a tool designed for real life, from leaving home to returning tired at the end of the day. Everything about it was designed to operate with minimal effort and maximum predictability. The first major breakthrough is autonomy. The Model 2 wasn't designed to impress with lab numbers, it was tuned to last a week of typical use on a single charge. This was made possible by three pillars, 